Okay, folks. See the sun's trying to come up over the horizon here. You know, I told you on another video that I don't fish farm ponds very often. I was at this pond about three weeks ago with y'all and I caught some on the frog. And this is the 4th of July weekend, so I thought this would be a good time to come back to this pond because Lake Gaston is very crowded, very busy, could be very busy today. And let's try something today. I didn't try this here last time because it's in the evening. Let's try a top water bait. Okay, it's the boy duck at little top water popper. It works great on Lake Gaston. And we're gonna try a four inch soft jerk bait in the morning. There's a lot of moss in the water. There's a lot of uh, grass. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I brought my ultralight uh, bait caster. This is just no cheap cherry wood. Uh, it's a good little action. I use it for crankbaits, most of seven foot. I use it mostly for crankbaits. Some of those small crankbaits does great with that. Got a nice reel on it though. It's got a, some anacorado on it. I got 10 pound line on it. And I've never tried this here before. I don't know what these fish, how these fish are gonna react to this. And it's got a lot of grass. I might have to switch to, well, something smacked at it. I might have to switch to the soft jerk bait. Now, this is a small one. He's a baby. He's hot too, boy. One thing about these small fish, sometimes it's easy to grab that hook in their mouth if you got a pair of pars. Now I'm just using, I just got this bait nose hooked. This is just a, look at that. They wouldn't hit that top water. Come on. They wouldn't hit that top water. And it was like that last time here. Last time here, they liked to, they beat my full size fluke to pieces. And I had trouble hooking them, if y'all remember, right? I, mean, I don't have but eight pound test. He's about the same, so he might be, he might be 12 inches. Uh, last time I was here, guys, they was beating my fluke to pieces. Y'all remember that? Y'all can check the video out, my first pond. So what I done was, this is just a little open hook. I think it's called a mosquito hook. Again, I don't remember the names of all this kind of stuff. Just a little open hook. Don't take anything fancy, something like you drop shot with. And this is this color is just called disco. This is a, this is a junior fluke, right? We're gonna dig them out right here right now. Let me show them to you real fast. I'm gonna put a couple in my pocket. I bought a crappy rod too. Oh. Now, I brought these with me, guys. A whole handful of them here. There's a super flute junior. These right here. This is a, a big bite baits joint at Mena. I've had good luck with them. This is a little big bite baits shad. So, I'm gonna get a couple from Colors. Here's a Dominke shad, small inch one. All right. Castella. See, I got a variety here I brought with me. I'm going to take and put this in my pocket. Uh, this is a big bite. I'm going to put a, these in my shirt pocket. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's take off. Let me shut that up. Let's take off. And let's go, let's go uh, over here. Now we'll get up here. Look here. Guys, we talking about that bigger bass? Right here he is. This is that bigger bass. Now, oh yeah. Oh, he's taking drag. He's taking drag. Yeah, we gotta get him away from this boat house. I'm walking down the bank here, guys, away from that dock. I was up on that dock. Trying to get this bass away from the boathouse. This is the bass we was after right here. I don't know if it's any catfishing here or not. That's what it feels like. 
He didn't say it was any catfish in here. I'm just holding on. I, I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass. Look here, it's a bass. Look here. I knew it was some big bass in here. Couldn't this be all little ones? Come here. Look here, guys. Look here. Look here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> that bass has got to be eight pounds. Look how long he is. Wow. This is what bit that that the uh, crap. Okay, guy, I'm gonna let him go. Oh, this is a baby here after that last one, right? This ain't a bad fish though. Uh, he's about a 10 or 11 mincher. He's about a 10 or 11 mincher. About all I think he is. Guys, I got all excited on that last fish. You heard me say, I think he was eight pounds. I, I don't have a set of scales with me. I didn't, I know, there we go. Got another guy with any scales. I'm at a farmhouse. I'm gonna do some work here today, a little bit. And uh, I brought my fishing rod with me. And I just took a tackle plastic box, as y'all seen, and threw some stuff in it. Most of my stuff's on my bass boat. And I got a cabinet in my garage full of all that stuff, you know. And uh, I did bring one of my best spinner rods, what I'm throwing here now. This is a St. Coy Bass X. This is a nice all around rod, it's a medium, six and a half. It's a good all around rod just for a general. I throw, I throw odd and end stuff on a shaky head, stuff on. Got a Sierra on it, 2500. Eight pound line, eight pound floor clear. This is the green, mint green color. But what I'm doing, I'm just throwing this little four inch um, jerk man of my big bites. This is a jointed one. That's what they call it, a jointed jerk man. It moves very easy. I have no weight on it, and I got it nose hook, that mosquito hook type hook, drop shop style hook. I'm just letting it sink, and I'm just popping it once in a while. And uh, this thing has really good action hooked like that. Uh, this water is not very clear. Uh, I'm beating my rod on the dock. Uh, I'm gonna try to show y'all. All right, see if you can see this bait. Right, right here she is. No, I know this GoPro. See, so when I move that thing, it just. And then it sinks a little bit with the with the weight of the hook. So, and you can, you know what? You can whack your rig it too if you want it to. But that little hook works fine. It, you see now, it just caught that big bass on it. But I got all excited on that bass. And I said, he's eight pounds. I don't know what that bass weighs. I have no scales on it with me. But uh, he's the, he was thick and he was all head. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guarantee you he weighed uh, six and a half to seven and a half pounds. Of, Michael be my official guest from handling after I carried him around a little bit and took pictures of him and got put in my hand. He looked like he was a monster when I first picked him up. <laughs> but you know, when a bass jumps in the water out there and you're fighting, you go like, oh my gosh, that's a big bass. And you get him to the boat and he's three pounders. They really look big when they're in that water and you first grab a hold of them. They really look big. When you stop and really evaluate what you got and when you put him on that D-liar, that scale, that's, I call it a D-liar. That ends it all. But, uh, yeah, he was, my guess would be official guess, and I get pretty close. You know, I mess him once in a while. I mess the length on bass more than anything, especially the spotted bass, because they're, so they're so long sometimes. Um, that fish was a good 24 inches long, 22 to 25 inches long, easily. He was very long. And I'm gonna say six and a half to seven and a half pounds. I've caught eight pound bass. I've got an eight pounder, uh, I got mounted. I caught in Lake Gaston years ago, 25 years ago, and he was real thick. So that fish, if he'd had his weight, he'd been, he could have been a nine, 10 pound bass if he'd had his weight all the way through him, like he had in his shoulders. He would have been a fat, big bass, but uh, he was skinny in his back end, you know, from his stomach back, I'm gonna say six and a half, seven and a half pounds. I'm gonna see if my GoPro's operating. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. All right, guys, my little baby one. You know, they're all gonna be babies after that one. 
one of the things I hate that I left, I had to, I had to pack up. I, this is this is about 45 minutes from my house. As I left, I didn't bring my pliers. Well, guys, I thought it was a little bass, so I just I want I want to give y'all a tip. Let me get him off here. Let me get this crappy off here. I'm going to drop him right back, right through the grass. I'm going to give y'all a tip. He told me it was crappy in here, and I done threw three or four different colors. Bobby Garland's baby shad, you know what? Baby shad, I've catch a lot of crappy on them. I threw a little kite tech. In fact, let me show you real fast. Get my box I ain't right here. I'm going to show you something. I threw this little kite tech on this head. This is one of the weedless BMM heads. You know, I throw them a lot. One thirty second. Now that looks like a real, real little bait fish, doesn't it? You know? Nothing. Nothing. Not a bite. Through this color, which is a, one of my favorites, ice out. Nothing. Picked up old ugly. Old ugly. Charlie Br uh, Briar. Two and an eighth inch swim bait. Got, it's got broken segment here. Tail wobbles pretty good. First cast. Caught a fish. <laughs> that thing is ugly. But, hey. What I'm sharing with you sometimes this is not what we like, it's what the fish like. How do they see that ugly thing? Uh, they see it different than I do, but again, it's one of those baits I picked it. On, on, I got it from uh, Barlow's. Because they have about uh, 12 colors of them. The local tackle shop has about four, and they don't care much for the colors. The bait fish color works good, it's called bait fish. Uh, I got a couple other colors I've done nothing on yet. Stop. Another other one. He's about 10 inches probably at the most. I think that makes like 16 or 17 guys. And I've been fishing for crappy over there. Trying to catch a couple crappy. And uh, caught one. All right, let's, let's continue. Guys, I thought I wasn't going to record anymore, so I'm trying to make this video any longer. Well, that's a decent one. He's, a little, he's about 12 inches. And look how dark he is. He's living in that grass, isn't he? All right, guys, we're going to settle up here with you. We were stoned today. Just this little hook. It's a weedless wacky hook. Eight pound line. I showed you the rod earlier. Just a Bass X with a 25 zero. And uh, let me get down here with y'all. I got you on the picket here. Just on the little Super Fluke Junior. We catch them on. This is the Minky. Uh, armor Shad. Small Armor Shad. And Big Bite Baits. Uh, joint. Jerk man. This nose hooking them. This right here and just nose hooking it like that. Caught everything doing that, even the bicking. So guys, I hope that helps you. Next time. Hey look, I even got I even got bass stone. If some of y'all don't know what bass stone is, I hope this channel helps you develop a bass stone. Okay, that's what we're all about. We're trying to help you become a better fisherman. If you got a farm pond that has a lot of small fish in it, maybe even some big ones. Got a lot of grass in it. You need something different to try. Try working a small jerk bait with nose hook. Hey, it catches fish. We'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country. My name is Dennis. Catch you down the road.